unsold showroom traffic. Somebody that came in and didn't buy a car yesterday, and now we're calling them back today. Or they didn't buy a car this morning, and now we're calling them back this evening. The first thing we want to keep in mind is we want to start the deal completely fresh. Just because they didn't buy a car yesterday because of whatever reason doesn't mean they're not buying a car today. And when you listen to untrained salespeople, if I want to say that like that, make this call, what they'll usually do is one or two things. They'll either say, did you buy a car yet? Or they'll jump right into yesterday's problem. Hey, when you were here last night, you said you were going to talk to your wife. Did you have a chance to talk to her? Hey, when you were here last night, you said you were going to think about the price. Did you think about the price yet? Don't bring up the objection. Just call and thank the customer. Hi, buyer. Thank you for taking my call. The reason I am calling is I just want to thank you for coming in yesterday and working with us. I really appreciate it. And then you drop this magic P word right in their ear. What's the magic P word? You just wait. If they're still thinking about the price, they'll tell you. If they're still thinking about talking to their wife, they'll tell you. Let them tell you what the problem is. Don't rush to yesterday's problem. Maybe yesterday they told you that it was the wrong color because they thought you were lowballing them on the trade. And then they went to the Honda dealership and the Honda dealership offered them less. We don't know the real reason why they didn't buy a car. And if we did everything perfect, they'd have bought the car yesterday. So quit assuming that yesterday's problem is today's solution. Let it come from them. Should problems come from the buyer or should the problem come from us? Buyer. Problems come from the buyer. Excellent. I also wanted to see if you had any unanswered questions. Give them a chance to talk. Give them a chance to think. You just asked them, was the price too high, payment too low, wife trade, all that stuff in the pause. So now they got to catch back up with you. How did you like the vehicle? What are they usually going to say? I loved it. Cool. What'd you love about it? Get them excited about the car again. What are you comparing it to? Now, if I have a room full of people and I say, Zoom, we got any questions on this? This is the number one thing where people go, well, I don't like that. Why? What are you comparing it to question with unsold showroom traffic? Now, the reason we're asking them that is because, again, yesterday we didn't make the deal. So we got to kind of try and figure out what is going on. And then we have multiple closes down here. The most famous close in, in, in this type of call is at the top, okay? You could pick one of these, though. Buyer, if there was one thing that was stopping you from moving forward on that Pathfinder that we looked at last night, what would that one thing be? What might they say? Good. What else might they say? Yeah, it could be, could be anything, right? No matter what they say, you try and use that as ammunition to sell the appointment. Okay, so what's the color? I, I, I hear you. That's still what it is. Why don't you come back in and let's see what we can do. You just try and set the appointment. The reason you're calling these people is to set the appointment. Now, goal number one is the appointment. There's a secondary goal to this, though. If we don't have the appointment, now we got the one thing, and I could go talk to the desk. Hey, do you remember that lady from last night? She said the only thing stopping her is the color. What do you want to do? And then touch the desk. The main thing is just a variation of that. What's the main thing holding you back right now? What is it? And then close number three. And remember, just pick one of these or use them in combination. What is holding you back from moving forward? Is it the vehicle? You're not sure this is the vehicle you want? Or is it the money? Well, I'm not sure it's the right truck. Okay, well, what would you suggest if it's the money? All right, the money. When you're saying the money, is it the price, the payment, the down payment? What we gave for your car? Well, what is it? Well, I don't like the down payment. Great. When they tell you money, don't assume that it's price because a lot of times it isn't. It is monthly payment. 